I travelled from Nagoya on Shinkansen and I'd arranged it to arrive at my hostel in Higashiyama in, t- in Kyoto with enough time to spare to go and visit Shoren Inn, uh, a rather delightful garden and temple, about five minutes walk from uh, where I was staying. It was due to close in the early evening, but I got there just in time to visit, and it was nice and peaceful, and as you can see, uh, well worth the trip. Shuren Inn. I strolled around the serene and beautiful garden until it was time to leave. Then I headed back to my hostel and made myself ready for an evening out in Kyoto. Here I am in Pontecho in Kyoto and um, one's cat swinging skills would be put to serious test. I think the cat would be quite relieved that he wouldn't be able to move an inch. By nightfall I had given up the attempt to try and find a restaurant and uh, went into a combini and bought myself a bento and a beer and sat by the river to have a meal. A 
At this point, I had not noticed any uh, Geiko or Maiko, that's the uh, Kyoto name for uh, geishas and apprentice geishas, and so I contacted my friend Naoki uh, from Hanafubuki and, uh, on text and asked him where the best place to go was, and he directed me to Kiyom. After wandering aimlessly for a while, I did happen to spot two Ma Maiko um, walking past, but uh, I was too much of a gentleman to take a photograph. I then headed back to my hostel. Along the way I spotted some fireflies and also heard this sound. Oh, here I am in Kyoto. Going for a quick walk to Nihonzaka. Before the uh, the masses of Chinese tourists get here, just happens to be a street chock full of temples. So we'll be getting here soon, I imagine. Coach coming now. Well, it looks like I beat the uh, Chinese tourists. I actually beat everybody, including the shopkeepers of Ninenzaka in Kyoto, because everything is shut, but it's nice and quiet. And those are the famous steps I'm heading towards, too. Towards. Sorry. What's that? Very typical Japanese building buildings. Kyoto has not disappointed quintessentially Japanese. Oh, there we have one of the famous views of Kyoto, looking down in Anzaka towards Kodaiji Temple Pagoda. Excuse my shaking. Well, just walked up Ninenzaki, those steps seen Kodaiji Temple Pagoda and now heading up Sananzaki. Up there. Okay, I'm going to sweat, I can see. Okay, <clears throat> after Sananzaki, excuse the noise, car here, it's the trip up to Kiyomizodera. Temple, slightly more touristy on this uh, on this section, and more people, but not exactly crowded. Well, I appear to be at the entrance. I think that's basically what it is. Bit of a giveaway. Big gate. Here we go. I eventually made it to Sanjo Bridge and met up with my Facebook friend Noriko and my YouTube friends Naoki Todo and Yoko Shibata from the Hanefabuki channel.
Well, here I am in Kyoto at the Imperial Palace. Where else would you be in, uh, in Kyoto? With none other than Yoko Shibata and her childhood friend, who she's not seen for 12 years. <laughs> and uh, would you believe it, neither of them, neither of them uh, uh, have been to this place <laughs> in all the years that they lived here. So uh, here I am, I'm a catalyst. Simon, Simon Catalyst, three old dudes, there we go. And this, this gentleman is, uh, is the founder of Hana Fubuki. And uh, if you watch his videos, Yoko Shibata appears quite often in those. And he quite often films in 360 degrees, which if you watch his videos, you get rather dizzy, but um, they're rather good. And he's going to film here today. This is, this is my friend Naoki. Right, let's go and have a look at um, the old Heian Palace. So this is the Heian Shrine. Shrine dedicated to the Heian Emperors of Kyoto, when Kyoto was the capital of, of Japan, capital for a thousand years. It's very bright and hot today, so things could be difficult to see. But it was only built quite recently in the style of, it's, uh, I think it's 19th or 20th century, but built in the style of the 9th century. Here we are, having stepped through the Imperial Palace gates and looked at the shrine briefly. We've now come to our main destination, which is, in fact, the Heian Palace Gardens. Very nice here. Oh, here with Naoki-san, Shibata-san, and Jizumi-san. We're looking for shade because it's about 30 degrees in the sun at the moment. <laughs> Just a brief bit of shade in the Imperial Palace Gardens before we head out back into the baking sun. There you go, Ted. Um, I should be appearing either in my video with Yoko Shibata or in Yoko Shibata video <laughs> with me. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I'm just going to wander out into the pond, so to speak. Oh, we've got to go the other way. Okay. <laughs> We're going the wrong way now, okay? We've, we've got to go that way. <laughs> yes. so how do you like this place, Taimo-san? Uh, it's really, really beautiful. Oh. Yes. Um, I've been to Tokyo, and that was amazing. I've been to Shizuoka, and that was spectacular with uh, quite a lot of good scenery. I've been to Nagoya, and that was also amazing, but then I went to a party, so... <laughs> um, but here, it's, um, it's uh, as you can see, it's really beautiful. Uh, and the, the streets, Pontecho, Gion, uh, Kiyomizadera, I'm just thinking of the places I've visited in, in the brief time I've been here. Amazing, amazing. So if you want to come... What's the name of the temple again? What's the name? What, what is the name of this? Ah, Sanju Sangendo. Sanju Sangendo. We're at Sanju Sangendo, built in the 13th century by the retired Emperor Go Tarawa, who converted to Buddhism. And we've just seen 1,000 Buddhist statues and 33 guardian statues dating. 800 from 850 years ago. 
We can't take any pictures of them, unfortunately. Indeed. After leaving the temple, um, it was time for me to get back to my train. So I said goodbye to Noriko-san, and then Yoko and Naoki went with me in taxi back to my hostel. And there, uh, we had a, a drink and said goodbye. All in all, a very enjoyable day. <laughs>